Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Monday, January 10th of 2022. And looking a little different because, well, some equipment issues happened today, but hopefully it'll be okay for everybody. Uh, this is brought to you by The Real Voice, Mel Allen, voiceovers for commercials, podcast explainer videos, e-learning telephone systems, and more. You can check out samples and demos by heading over to my website, therealvoice.com. And 19 crimes. Martha's Chard is the brand's first California Chardonnay. Martha apparently worked very closely with the team at 19 Crimes, and they created a wine that breaks preconceived notions of California Chardonnay, and then they also said it's approachable and simultaneously as bold as her personality. Of course, they're talking about Martha Stewart. 19 Crimes Martha's Chard is going to be available in California coming up soon and distributed nationally starting February 1st. There is a suggested retail price of 12 bucks. Honestly, I thought it was going to be 19 and speaking of crimes, when it comes to beer, we've all made some poor choices. I remember when I was young, fairly broke, and the choice was made for me in the store where I shopped for the cheapest beer and the biggest package. So yeah, I picked some bottom of the barrel beers, which may or may not be on this list of beers we're gonna talk about, the worst beers in the world. Okay, several of them are on this list of worst beers in the world. Might be a coincidence, but most of these beers Made in the U.S. Yeah, check out the show notes for that. If you want to experiment with making some good beer, then you should know what a fooder is. Or some people pronounce it fodder. Uh, it's a large oak barrel that can be horizontal or vertical uh, where you can age or ferment beer, whether it's wild, sour, or not, just a clean beer. It's used to make styles like Lambics, Flanders, Red, uh, Flanders Reds, and even some brown ales. So why use one? Well, they're a lot larger than a lot of people realize. Usually they start about three times larger than a typical wine or beer barrel, but they can be much, much bigger, almost as big as you need, which means they can actually save space and time in breweries for that aging process. If you want to find out more about fooders, check out the link and you will start to notice when places are going to be serving them. If you do, I bet. Next time, I hope to have my uh, normal system working together again, unless when this, this one lurks and works better. I, who knows? It might actually be great. <laughs> Thanks for listening and watching. Remember to like, review, and subscribe. You can head over to boozebuddyupdate.com to leave feedback, get in touch with me, and make sure to check out and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you aren't already. Remember, don't drink and drive. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. That's what I'm doing for sure. Today, it's... Uh, a little long trail IPA. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows what it'll be tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>